This is the Church of St Nicholas. And this hasn't always been a Greek Orthodox Church. It was bought by the Greek community in 1975. Um, it was formerly a Methodist Church. It actually started its life in 1867. So it's a grand old dame. It's been an important part of this area of Ballarat and an important part of the history of Ballarat. Well, the origins of this church uh, feature very much in my family history. Great-great-grandfather came out from Cornwall in 1866. And so when they got here to this area, there was no church. And so with other miners, built this little church. And it was all done after their mining shifts were finished. It was all done after hours. My role here is the Harry's Restoration Bricklayer. We, uh, when we were first shown the building, we noticed there was a fair bit of damage, uh, being damaged bricks. And the reason for that was that around, we think around the 1970s, the mortar joints had fretted away. And brickies at the time always thought, well, that's no good because the lime mortar wasn't no good. It was too soft, so they put in cement mortar. And then when they plugged it up with the cement mortar, the cement mortar became harder than the brick itself. So any breathing or breathability was nullified. We found that what happened was the salts were rising damp and, and that salt attack had occurred and had blown the face off some of the bricks. So there and there we thought, oh, well, we, we really need to get the cement mortar out, scratch it back, get rid of as many of the salts as possible and replace it with the traditional lime mortar mix. I got involved in this project through a partnership between the University of Ballarat and Paul Britt, the bricklaying contractor, and took the opportunity to learn how to restore buildings. I value learning all this heritage restoration, firstly for potential for work later on in the future for the skills and knowledge of the different tools used and just the timeline, what used to happen before we used cement mortar. It's a good lesson in history. The Greek community um, started off with some discussions with the city of Ballarat um, to, to seek assistance to try and restore the exterior and after some discussions with the, the heritage advisors um, we decided as a community to apply for heritage grants from Heritage Victoria to try and restore the exterior. This was a great opportunity to partner with community and other bodies like Heritage Victoria and also the Ballarat University to get the job done. We have seen a problem in how do we develop this area in specialty trade skills? How do we work with our university to ensure that we don't lose these skills? So it seemed like the absolute fit to partner together to come up with a solution that everyone could benefit from was really such a fabulous space to be in. A lot of the students these days deal with brick veneer, houses and homes. Um, they don't really get to understand how these old buildings were put together and, and why they've lasted for, say, 150 years. It's what the old boys knew about. I just have a I look at it in law sometimes. The amount of work and how they went about doing their, their craft was something, to, something special. Man. Yeah, I think it's significant that young people take on this. It's a bit of a lost art, a bit of a lost skills in looking after these buildings. Who's going to pass it on to the next generation or the generation after that? I think it'd be a shame to lose that and hopefully one day down the track they'll say, you know, great effort, the old boys had a crack, they did the right thing and, and you know, say, oh, my great granddad looked after that building and have a look, it's still standing today. And who knows, that could be another 150 years away. St Nicholas Church is, is, is at the true heart and a real focal point for the Greek community. A lot of community celebrations that take place are cent centred around religious festivals and it's the place where our community comes together. We 
we're here today together with the priest and with the whole community to participate in this beautiful service today. I felt so grateful to hear some words from our priest for the religion, for us, for the whole community. Thank you all, you know, to help us to keep this beautiful church. Yeah, because not just any particular building, it's a meaning to us, this church. The meaning is community. The meaning is the children. The meaning is religion. The meaning is culture. I, even inside to me, I feel we belong here.